Across the country, red light running causes crippling injuries and death. Lives forever changed in an instant. Red light safety cameras improve driver behavior, help reduce crashes, and save lives. In Florida, the benefits of red light cameras extend beyond public safety and into the world of cutting edge science. I'm so proud to be able to be here to sign this important legislation that will literally help save lives. May 2010, Florida's then governor, Charlie Crist, makes it official, signing the Mark Wandel Traffic Safety Act into law. It caps a five-year effort led by Mark's widow, Melissa. This has always been about making sure that, that Mark's memory lives on, that we make sure that we make a difference for what happened that night just a quarter of a mile from our home. Mark Wandel was killed by a red light runner just two weeks before Melissa gave birth to their daughter, Madison. I knew that red light running was preventable. I knew that it was a tragic crash and I didn't want it to happen to anyone else. Under the Wandel Safety Act, cities are allowed to install traffic cameras to catch drivers who run red lights. It also calls for a portion of the fines to go to a specific and meaningful purpose. $10 of every fine supports local trauma centers around the state, while another $3 goes here to a world-class research center at the University of Miami called the Miami Project to Cure Paralysis. Most people don't understand. They think when somebody runs a red light, there's either near misses or everybody's okay. And then you hear about the ones, like my husband, that Mark, who were killed. But then a lot of times, they don't he really hear about the people that are injured. The Miami Project is going to be able to help so many of those people. Inside the seven-story building, more than 200 scientists, researchers, and clinicians work on the latest breakthroughs in spinal cord and brain injuries. From cell therapy to hypothermia, they pioneer efforts to speed recovery from traumatic injuries. They also develop innovative approaches to rehabilitation for improved function. All this takes a lot of money. Science is expensive. The Wandel Safety Act has already provided the Miami Project with $2 million in just 18 months. To raise $2 million is just amazing. Melissa Wandel is here to visit the Miami Project for the very first time and to meet its chief fundraiser, Mark Bonaconti. Hi, Melissa. How Hi, are Mark. You? Good. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Welcome too. Welcome to the Miami Project. Thank you so much. The Miami Project simply is the most comprehensive spinal cord injury center in the world. And our mission is to find more effective treatments and ultimately a cure for brain and spinal cord injuries and other neurological diseases and disorders. Mark Bonaconti is the son of Miami Dolphins Hall of Famer Nick Bonaconti. As a boy, Mark dreamed of following in his father's footsteps. He was doing what he loved most when tragedy struck during a college game 26 years ago. Mark's father, Nick, vowed he would do everything he could to help his son walk again, and the Miami Project was born. Over the years, Mark has become the driving force behind fundraising efforts to support both laboratory and clinical research at the center. Every year, there's 10 to 12,000 injuries in the United States alone, people with spinal cord injuries. And still, by far, the majority of those injuries are caused by automobile accidents. Um, and it's devastating. Dr. Dalton Dietrich is the Miami Project's chief scientist. This is a really exciting time in paralysis research. We have been working for over 25 years to understand paralysis, and now we think we have the tools and maybe cell therapies to actually target paralysis and make a difference in people's lives. So we have four floors of laboratories like this. Okay. The Miami Project has been working on a new kind of cell therapy, one that could repair and induce regeneration by injecting a person's cells into their own spinal cord. I've never been more excited in my life about what we're doing, and I've never been more optimistic in a cure. 
The money from the Wandel Safety Act is already having a major impact. Taking the dream of finding a cure for paralysis one step closer to reality. This is the difference between, you know, walking next year or walking in five years or, or even later. I mean, every dollar counts, so you can imagine the importance of this money coming into the project. For Melissa, the visit to the Miami Project is proof positive that the Wandel Safety Act goes far beyond simply saving lives in Florida. The work done here will help millions of people around the world. Something that would have made her husband Mark very proud. There's not a day that goes by that I don't miss my husband and I don't wish that he was here with my daughter and I. But to know on a day like today when we come to the Miami Project, my Mark would just be so overwhelmed by the, the camaraderie. He loved when people came together to do great things. It would have put a huge smile on his face and uh, he would have said, job well done.